Ooh, welcome back all y'all glad you're here marvel dropped a new trailer for secret invasion a new series is coming out on uh, disney plus so we're gonna check it out right now we're gonna watch it and then react to it because i got things to say about this i have not seen this trailer yet it just dropped today um but ooh, it's gonna be interesting so this is the second trailer i believe they had like the teaser trailer about a month and a half ago uh but this is the new one the official um trailer so let's check this out fury since you've been gone things have gotten much worse how do you think i came back You're in no shape for this fight that lies before us, old friend. This is personal. Very few of us know about the wars fought in the shadows that have raged on this planet. Do you feel responsible? the Avengers this war is one I have to fight alone you're the most wanted man on the planet you don't know what they have planned for you the great Nick Fury June 21. So we got well, it's April, May, so three months till this comes out. Um, I'm not going to go too in-depth in it right now. The angle they're taking on this is pretty interesting. Um, they're taking it more, more from a I guess from a shield aspect. Uh, more of an espionage aspect rather than what it was in the comic books when it first uh, debuted so many years ago. The, now, I know there's supposed to be a bunch of superhero cameos in this. Um, the scrolls, if you don't know the basis behind all this, basically the scrolls are infiltrating Earth. In the comic books, in the Secret Invasion comic book series, they took over uh, a bunch of different... Uh, superheroes, including Wasp, uh, Spider Woman, um, just it was it was just like you didn't know who was or who wasn't a scroll, and it eventually culminated in a giant battle in Central Park, um, and had one of the best lines ever when um, when uh, who was it the, the the queen or or the skull queen or whoever it was said something about being a god and nick fury says yeah well my god carries a hammer and then draw and then thor dropped in and just the whole battle started it was awesome one of the best lines ever written in comic books in my opinion so when they went in this direction i'm kind of like <sighs> i mean I, I when when they introduced the scrolls and made them good guys I kind of got nervous because I know that Secret Invasion had been, this was back years ago, um, in the middle of like phase three. And everybody was kind of like, you know, Secret Invasion's on the horizon. There were like rumors of it. And then the scrolls came in and then they were good guys. And you're kind of sitting there going, okay, how are they good guys? You know, especially in like in Spider Man Far From Home, uh, I think in Captain Marvel and a couple other places they showed up. 
and they're going to have this invasion. Well, apparently it's going to be like, a, like the, like the terrorist sect of the scrolls, you know, the super religious ones or however they're going to spin it, the super political ones. Um, but they do believe that they're, that their monarch is a God. So however they're going to spend that on this, I don't know. So it'll be pretty interesting, but Taking it to an espionage level and taking this down to shield level and instead of keeping this up at Avengers level, I guess makes a lot of sense cost-wise, if nothing else. But it would be really hard to do this storyline in the movies without it being like set up a long, long time ago. And they just and and now they're going the whole aspect of Kang the Conqueror, and um, they just don't have time for this, so they're going to put it into a series and do it basic I'm, I'm assuming just in one like one season so i'm kind of nervous about it but i understand why they're doing it that way and so i'm not going to get to see probably a bunch of stuff that i wanted to see which probably was never going to happen anyway so that's fine i just hope this one comes across really well i hope they put the good writing into it that they put the good twists into it that they kind of surprise you on a few levels. I just want it to be entertaining because honestly, Disney Plus, you've been letting me down lately, man. The uh, I think Moon Knight's probably about the best thing you did, and honestly, that could have been a lot better than it was. Uh, Miss Marvel was a joke. I didn't even finish that. It was six episodes, and I never got past episode three. And I'm a completionist. Like, I watch everything. I haven't even bothered to sit down and watch the final three of that. So... I'm just, I'm just, I'm kind of nervous about it. I think Marvel's lost a lot of, lot, uh, a lot of people's faith lately with some of the directions they've taken, with some of the the story content that they're doing, and some of the, um, socio political stuff that they're kind of like wanting to hammer down everybody's throat and just bring in for nonsensical reasons. And I think just getting more political instead of just being what comic books and what comic book movies should be, entertaining. And they've just, I think they've just kind of forgotten about that. I think Hawkeye was pretty good at it. Uh, I think Moon Knight was pretty good at it. I think they kind of could have done a few things better. Uh, but I enjoyed it. I love Moon Knight. He's one of my favorite characters. And so I think they did a really good job with it. And I'm just hoping they really do a good job with this. Because this is an iconic story. And they've had to make a lot of changes to it. So I hope they keep the heart of it anyway. I hope they keep the soul of that story and just genuinely surprise us with what they bring about because they have an opportunity to really do something kind of crazy and, 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 and memorable. And if this is, uh, you know, the swan song for a few of these actors and characters, um, I hope they, I hope they, uh, do them justice with their swan songs. So looking forward to it. What do you think? Let me know, please drop me a comment below, like the button if you appreciated this, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, definitely uh, check out some of my other stuff here on the channel. And uh, I guess in three months, we'll start figuring out how good this is. We're bad one way or the other. In the meantime, you all have a great time. Love you. See you next time. Bye.